hiding in plain sight, ready to strike at a moment's notice. While you're blissfully unaware of what's going on behind the scenes, there are forces at work, and they're always watching. Sorry, that was a little bit too dramatic. Titanfall 2 is hardly what I'd consider a stealth-oriented first-person shooter, but that doesn't mean it's impossible to slink around in the dark recesses of the map. Just don't stay there for too long or you'll die. Today we're going to talk about cloaking and how you can take advantage of the stealth mechanics in the game. Let's talk about the loadout. The pilot tactical ability we'll be taking is cloak because that's the only ability you can select that makes you mostly invisible and invisibility is very important to stealth. Next, the pilot kit that pairs best with someone looking to keep a low profile is low profile. This kit reduces your jump jet trails and allows you to silently rodeo titans. The choice of weapon is up to you, but I'm partial to using a sniper rifle. Ordnance is a preference as well, but I love using the electric smoke grenade because it allows you to obstruct your enemy's vision and it makes me feel kind of like a ninja. So, the first question is, why would you want to take advantage of stealth, specifically the pilot tactical cloak and the pilot kit low profile? The answer, reaction time. Titanfall 2 is an incredibly fast game. Most of the pilot weapons can kill you in less than two seconds. Anything you can do to make it harder for people to land shots gives you a huge advantage and adds precious seconds to your life. Also, while your cloak is active, you're completely invisible to titans, which means you can wander around without fear of exploding into red mist. But don't forget, you can still get squished. You're invisible, not invincible. While we're on the subject of titans, using a stealth loadout makes you a huge threat to those mechanical menaces. Even if you opt out of using an anti-titan weapon as your secondary, cloak and low profile allows you to successfully rodeo and steal enemy titan batteries to power your own or someone else's. Rodeoing titans will never be the most efficient way to bring them down, but the reason a stealth build is so threatening to them is because giving your allies a shield, or shielding your own newly acquired titan, is an invaluable tactical advantage. Also, it's important to know when a titan will and won't have electric smoke countermeasures available to them. A freshly dropped titan won't have their smoke instantly available, Inversely, a titan that looks like a crispy barbecue chicken wing most likely has already used their smoke. Also, doomed titans are assassinated by rodeos, so those pilots who like to stay in their titans until it's dying breath will die along with it. Fun fact, you don't have to camp if you want to snipe or be stealthy in Titanfall 2. In most first person shooters, sniping means you want to find a spot with a long sight line to set up shop. Fortunately, you don't have to do that here. You can, but you don't have to. Making use of the mobility system in the game as well as using flanking routes can give you an advantage over the enemy. Also, taking out close proximity enemies with a silenced pistol is a great way to make sure your presence behind enemy lines goes undetected. Now, granted, pistols aren't the strongest weapons in the game by a long shot. You'll lose most one-on-one -on -one encounters to the alternator or any gun for that matter, but you're not trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. Your goal as a cloak pilot is to kill before the enemy knows what's happening. Now let's talk a little bit more about sniping because it's, in my opinion, best suited for the cloak pilot. It's difficult in any game, but when enemies have the ability to double jump, wall run, bunny hop, air strafe, flickle floggle, it becomes that much more difficult to hit your targets, especially if you're using one of the projectile based sniper rifles. With that said, if you pay attention to the range you're engaging at and have a pistol as your secondary weapon, you'll be better off. Long range engagements are the best engagements for a sniper rifle and a cloak pilot. Even when people are moving at breakneck speeds, they don't look so fast when they're halfway across the map. Aim down the sights and pick them off. Hopefully you've got better aim than I do because if you stand in the same spot for too long, somebody gonna snap your neck. Next we have those pesky mid-range engagements. It's a dangerous position to be in as a cloak pilot with a sniper because you're well within the optimal range of assault rifles and the real danger to the American way of life, the alternator SMG. 
You've got two options. Switch to your sidearm, pull the trigger, and pray to whatever god you do or don't believe in and hope your opponent can't aim. Or you can be a badass and quick scope headshot someone. That was all skill. No luck involved. Lastly, if you're playing with a stealth build and you wind up in a close range engagement, you've done it wrong and you're probably going to die. But you've still got options. You can do the sidearm prayer thing or you can no scope. In Titanfall 2, hip fire and aim down sight accuracy varies from weapon to weapon, and sniper rifles have very poor hip fire accuracy. But if you can tap into the energies of the universe, I'm sure you can make something happen. The last thing I'll say about using a cloak loadout, specifically one with a sniper rifle, it's all about fighting when you have the advantage. In other words, move when your cloak is available and be more cautious when it's not. Also, Titanfall 2's cloak against pilots is mediocre at best. It turns you into a translucent shimmer, so as much as you'd like to believe you're the predator, you're not. Even when your cloak is active, travel around the outskirts of the map and use lesser utilized paths to reduce the likelihood of being spotted. Finally, Sonar Pulse, Pulse Blade, and Map Hack all render your cloak ineffective. So, if you get a notification about one of those things, Go hide somewhere until it goes away. There's no shame in crouching down in a corner and twiddling your thumbs until it's over. Because when it is, you can get right back into the action. And there you go. This has been an overview of the cloak ability and how you can take advantage of the stealth mechanics in Titanfall 2, their benefits, all that good stuff. My personal favorite cloak loadout is on screen now if you want to try it out. But a cloak is a very versatile ability and it doesn't have to be used in the ways that I've been demonstrating throughout this video. Feel free to tell me how you use cloak in the comments below. So anyway, the name of the game, as you already know, is Titanfall 2. The name of the channel is iBlueAirJGR Gaming for Comedy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.